Hey Jar Gamers, this is Big Boss from Jar Gaming and I am here with the TGS highlights of the Sony conference that was last night. Um, they were going to throw a live stream at 9.30 in the, at night, but I think the time difference is a little bit bigger. So when I went at 9.30, it was still three hours almost to make the deadline like that we can watch the live stream. So... I couldn't watch it but I watched it today and I promised you guys in the first video of today's vlog that I was gonna go ahead and record um, a new video saying what's new in TGS with Sony in Japan so one of the first things that they presented um, in the Sony panel Takashi Marikata he presented the whole line of PS Vita games that are coming up on 2014 and 2015 in Japan and some of them are coming to the States so the first game that they presented it was called Tokiden Kiyami Tokiden Kiyami what they said is like a remake version of one of the games that they already made but it was only called Tokiden so they made Mia um Kiyami that's like a new version that brings like new characters new like new levels it's coming to Japan, the Chinese version, on October 30, 2014. The game, um, they said that on the States, it will come a little bit later, but they're going to try. They're going to try and make it at least for the Japanese version to come out at least a couple of months later, and then on the U.S. version a couple of months later. So let's hope like around six months, around six to eight months it will come for both Japan and the United States the next game that they presented is was just a teaser it was kinda weird I was weird out because it's a game that I've never heard before but the little teaser that they gave us it was kinda how can I say this it was kinda off because it's called the game is called Gundam Breaker 2 um, for what I see is a sequel of Gundam Breaker um, Gundam Breaker, the teaser trailer that they gave us was only Char's top torso of one of their uh, one of the evil Gundams and the legs of the Mobile Suit Gundam. So it was kind of weird out, but you know how it is. They always like to make a twist over there in Japan. So it's coming. The Korean version is coming this winter the Korean version oh both Korean and um, Japanese version are coming this winter and that's really nice to know then for all of you fantasy stars fans there cut there's a new fantasy star coming up only in Japan that's the only downside it's coming it's fantasy star Nova it looks gorgeous I like the graphics these games are showing us that the PS Vita can give more and a reminder of that that the PS Vita they just announced too my bad to not say that first that it's coming on light pink and white is white finish with a pink back back cover um, for the PS Vita on Japan and for other words PS Vita is coming up with a new update the 3.30 update they didn't say nothing on what's coming up on that update, but supposedly it's going to make us, the gamers, have more compatibility on our games. So, let's see what happens, right? So, the next game that's going to come up is called Moero Chronicles. It's coming in English, in Chinese, and in, and they are all coming on February 2015. They didn't show that much of the game, but from what I see is a hack and slash sexy type game. If I can, I'll find videos and I'll post them around the the video and that you guys can see them, or I'll just put the din the link down below so that you guys can see the the um the conference yourselves. It's pretty long, but it's worth your while. Okay, so now we're going to PS4 news. PS4 is coming up with a new update, the 2.0. They didn't say what's coming up on this update. They say that it's gonna come up with um the update is gonna come um with new features but they're gonna say it much more um how do you say more ahead of time 
So we don't know what's coming up. If it is, people have been rumoring that the PS4 is going to come up with a version that we gamers can play PS1, PS2, PS3 games on our PS4. If that happens, I will make a risk and I will buy a PS4 if that happens. <laughs> so, um, for PS4, um, in Japan, there's coming a new version, a uh, new PS4. Um, it's a Dragon Quest Slim Edition. They didn't say that much how it looks. They didn't even present it, so it looks interesting. And plus, Dragon Quest is one of the, one of the famous games that were in all times in um, Nintendo. I remember playing Dragon Quest on my Game Boy, my Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color. So why Dragon Quest on PS4? We don't know, but they already officially announced the name of Dragon Quest. It's called Dragon Quest Heroes. So we can expect that in let me see if they said they didn't say date but it's gonna come to they said that on this Dragon Quest Slim Edition PS4 the game is gonna be included another game that they didn't give date was Dynasty Warriors 8 Empire even though I think it was a little mistake they were announcing Dynasty Warrior 8 but they had Dynasty Warrior 7 art and that was kinda off but you know how how it is sometimes a small error doesn't mess up things but it gives a good information for other things that happen on the TGS Sony conference well Rui Rasu Rija he is from the developers called Ready Ready at Dawn they are the developers making the game right now um the order 1886 they were not hiding all this time. They were actually developers for the games Daxter, the two PSP Ghost, um, I mean, God of War games, and the remakes for God of War um, PSP games for PS3. Now they're working on The Order 1886. They actually say that it's a Victorian, um, Victorian environment in London and um they will be characters from history they said that nikola nicholas tesla is one of the historic um historians from the game so in so they presented a small trailer and they said how the game is going to be they showed some concept part and it looks pretty well i really do like the order if i had a ps4 i would get the the, the order 1886 it looks like a very fine game um, then, Hida, Hide Taka Mijasuki, he presented Bloodborne. It's a very, very gory game. It looks gorgeous. Graphics and cinematics look amazing. They did, they explain how the game is. It's a type of virus or some sort of evil in the town you have to destroy. And then that game is coming on month number five day number two 2015 and then in other news this is gonna be very interesting I was actually very happy for this one um, Mus Muskida Kawata presented Resident Evil Revelations 2 it will be coming early 2015 for PS4 PS3 and PS PlayStation Network they presented it how the game is going to be. They say that it's going to be a very, very horror game because um, the Resident Evil franchise, they were a little bit down because Resident Evil 6 was not what us, the fans, expected. And they want to keep on making these horror games like they were making back in the day. But let's see what happens, actually. And then he spoofed out two characters that are going to be main characters in the game. The story they didn't say that much. But it's gonna be based. It's gonna be on an environment like an island, kind of like Rikers Island, and let's put it like in the movie Shutter Island. You're gonna be on an island, stranded, with a strap on your hand. What does the strap say? We don't know. They didn't say that much. But the main characters of the Resident Evil 2 Revelations is Claire Redfield. We all know who Claire is, and. Moira Burton. Moira Burton, they said that is one of the characters that appear in one of the Resident Evil games. 
which one they didn't say they said if you want to figure out who Morita is you should figure it out playing all Resident Evil games again so it's coming on early 2015 um, and they said that there's gonna be a season pass for Resident Evil Revelations 2 they said that there may be be a collector's edition that they don't know or a special edition so let's see what happens from there on so then um Toshiro Nagashi presented Rio da Kido Rio da Kido Zero um it's like a gang like um game it's based in Japan and um let's put it this way you're ba I think you're or Jakusa or just just a vigilante the game is going to be cross-platform. If you buy it for PS4, it's going to be it can work on your PS Vita. That is one up for that company. Even though we can just wait, they only showed a small little cinematic video, so we don't know what's going to happen from there on. So the trailers that they showed at the end of the TGS Sony panel, they showed GTA 5. That was an amazing trailer. The graphics look very nice. Um, they showed the trailer, oh, and GTA 5 comes out in November 18, 2014. Then they showed the trailer for The Evil Within, another game made by Bethesda that is really, really scary and very gory, too. It's a good story. I actually didn't play the demo, but they say, people that have seen reviewing it, they say it's amazing and it's scary. Uh, the Evil Within comes out at October 15, 2014. They um, showed um, Guilty Gear XR. It's only coming for Japan, and it's only coming on the following um, the following languages. It's coming on Chinese and Korean, and it's coming this winter. That's really nice. The trailer looked gorgeous. They didn't show that much fighting, but they say it's going to be a next-gen fighting game in Japan. The other thing is that there's another game called Knights of Valor. It's a classic game from Sony. Um, in Japan, this is their 15th anniversary, and the game is coming on 2015 spring. I saw the trailer; it looks nice. It's a, uh, it's like Dragon's Crown. It's a side scroller. It looks gorgeous, really, and the effects look amazing. The other game that is coming up is called Kingdom Under Fire 2. I have to figure it out. Figure out what's Kingdom Under Fire 1. The game looks amazing. You know that these, uh, when Dead Rising 2 said, oh, PS. The Sony PlayStation cannot withstand more than 300 zombies in one place. Well, this game has more than 500 warriors in one place. I was amazed. They were It's like a whole-fledged war in one place. More than 500 polygons moving around. That game is coming on summer 2015. The indie titles that they showed, they weren't that much, but... They showed Infinite Straight, Demo, Let's Manga, and Once One Once Upon Light. These all these indie games, they look gorgeous. Actually, I'm gonna tell you one of them is like a piano like game and it looks amazing. I really do hope that this T this Sony panel I hope that they showed more. I really was hoping for more Final Fantasy and more Kingdom Hearts. But I think Square Enix is just keeping this a little bit to the down low. Like that we can be more more up on what's coming up. So guys, this is the highlights of the TGS Sony panel. And I really wish I was there in Tokyo watching and going through all the booths in Japan. But this is me, Big Boss, and this is the highlights of the Sony panel from Tokyo Game Show 2014. So I am Big Boss from Jar Gaming, and I am signing out.